Alright guys, welcome back. I am here on my survival world and a lot, a lot, a lot has changed. As I'll take a look behind me, boom! Here is my little, here's my little community. It's so adorable. Um, Alright, let's take a look at the map. So I started down there in the bottom left and worked my way over into this area. And as you can see, I'm like in the middle of like this little bay area and I like it because I'm surrounded by some pretty cool I really I really like that I just I've never really seen that in Minecraft before and I really like that formation but uh, yeah here's my here's my little uh, my little setup got my farm going getting, getting my food got my trees I don't like the super tree though I don't I don't like how that's happening but uh, something that I wanted to share with you guys yes these are in fact giant mushrooms I know, I know. I didn't think they were in this update, but uh, I guess uh, 4J just wanted to throw it in there. Maybe I maybe I missed it though, but uh, I don't remember. So what you're gonna want to do, you can take any of the two mushrooms, the brown one. We'll just put that there, and you're just gonna want to put it on the ground. And to get these huge mushrooms, just uh, I suggest standing back a little, otherwise you might get whacked in the face because they kind of grow out pretty big. Just to take some bone meal, and boop, mushroom. <laughs> uh, they're pretty funny. Yeah, my friend Zach actually made one into a house. He put windows and a door. It's pretty hilarious. And uh, these uh, brown ones go pretty dang tall. Now watch this. When you when you destroy these, little mushrooms actually pop out. So the the return on mushrooms is actually really good. I think he told me that he got back about like something around 19 mushrooms from one of these trees. Crate or tree, I don't know. I don't know what these things are. Monstrosities. But uh so yeah, you can have your own little mushroom forest. But uh I have been going crazy intense with the mining. Check this out. First off, I've found three monster spawners, and I actually have the Music Disc 13 and Cat. Unfortunately, those are the only ones in the last update, so reliving that. But uh, 23 diamonds so far. A um, lot of lot of uh, redstone and coal. Coal is a big one, and uh, I've been making making some stone because I'll show you in just a second. Um, over in this area, see how I have the area tiers, like tiers like this? I was thinking of doing a temple style little thing right here because this this is my main mine. This uh here let's let's go down here real quick. Um as you can see it's three wide, which I don't normally do, but I figured this mine is gonna be gonna be a pretty major mine and I'm strip mining down this way, so Unfortunately, I hit obsidian here, and there's actually a, a lava pit right here. So I just decided to turn right because one, uh, I couldn't really go down that easy, and two, I'm on level 12, which is a really good level to find diamond. And so I just started strip mining on level 12, uh, headed the direction I already came, uh, in case any strongholds or things like that spawned uh, where I had spawned. So I'm just mining this way. And as I run down here, I actually found in one of the monster spawners was a it was a skeleton spawner. So this is huge. This is huge. I am going to be able to use this this skeleton spawner as a main source of arrows and bones and uh yeah. So bone meal growing. Oh man, I need to eat. Look at that. Nom 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 nom. nom. Uh, all right. Uh, so yeah, skeleton spawner. The other two spawners that I found were a spider and a zombie, and I actually found a. Yeah, we could go down here. It's this is a pretty sweet cavern, uh, or ravine, ravine. That that's it. And the fog in this game is just sweet. Like, it makes this ravine look just so awesome. Look at this. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Whoa! Oh, man. oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. What the heck? Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, my God. What the? Whew. Um. All right. All right. We're gonna. We're just not gonna. We're just not gonna go back there. Dang. Oh, that happened a few times while mining in that. Just. Oh God. Creepers dive bombing me, while I'm just peacefully mining away. These creepers just falling on top of me. But, ah, anyway, I like the fog effects. You can I don't really like it down these tunnels too much, but it looks really sweet in the ravines. Um, but yeah, so my, my plan for this hallway is just kind of, you know, I kind of got one started here. You know, just to dig a 3x3 three three and then go in the middle. 3x3, three three, go in the middle. I don't really know why. It just, I think it looks cool. Uh, and I know most people, you know, they... They do the one, and then they count two blocks over, and then do another. I think that's it. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. It's, for me, that's a little bit too close, even though it's the most effective way for looking at every single block on the side of you. But, eh, I don't really see, uh, you know, mining's mining. You're, you're, the more you do it, the better chance you have of finding diamonds and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, that's my mining technique is just dig down tw to layer 12. See, right now we're at 66. Go all the way down. You'll be at 12. Whoa, what? Oh, hello. Um, whoa. Can these guys pick up? All right. I'm taking them on. I'm going to take them on. Let's get them angry at me. Uh oh. Oh. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, let's see if he teleports to me. If you have Endermen in your crosshairs, they'll they'll teleport to you, I think. Come on. Come on, teleport. Uh, oh, he's coming close. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on. Just look away. I bet he'll teleport to me. No. No. He's not. He's just staring me down. This is creepy. What the heck? Okay. Anyway. Here's my farm. Um, got my fence gates and so no critters can get in here. Just pretty simple. I mean, you know, you can walk around it. These are just cobblestone half slabs with fences around them, you know. So, not nothing too special. And, uh, oh yeah, this new thing. If you push left trigger with a sword out, you can parry, which is like block. So that that that's kind of neat. I don't know. And uh, actually, with this whole island lit up, I can just like go to bed, just like just like this, and not get killed. I I, I think it's worked in the past. Let's see if. Yeah, look at that. All right. But yeah, guys. So I hope you you know got some some useful things out of this uh the mushrooms i think are pretty cool i, I think i'm gonna take those down because they don't really fit on my island too well but uh hopefully in the next episode i can start the construction of this temple uh with the mine down there i think i, I want to get some experience with some stone bricks so that's why i've got all this stone right here uh i'm gonna keep firing also and also the mining techniques. Uh, if you guys are having problems finding diamonds or anything like that, just level 12. If you go down to level 12, you know, just staircase it down there. Um, let's see if I can. The sprinting thing is kind of, kind of tough. I don't. Sprinting it was kind of hard for me to figure out, but uh, if you guys are having problems finding diamonds, just dig down to level 12 and just go in straight lines uh, branching off from there it works best see like in this direction I still have a lot of the map to go and it works really well for me um, just don't dig into like the edge of the map or anything and you'll, you'll be good oh there we go there I'm sprinting 
All right. Also, oh, what was that? Oh, my cats. They're causing mischief. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.